Hi, my name is Ilma, and today I'd like to share uh, John 2, verses 13 to 25. Zeal for the Father's house. The Passover of the Jews was near, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And he found in the temple those who were selling oxen and sheep and doves, and the money changers seated at their tables. And he made a scourge of cords and drove them all out of the temple with the sheep and the oxen, and he poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who were selling the doves, he said, Take these things away. Stop making my father's house a place of business. His disciples remember that it was written, Zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then said to him, what sign do you show us as your authority for doing these things? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, It took 46 years to build this temple, and will you raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the temple of his body. So when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he said to, and he said this, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had spoken. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover during the feast, many believed in his name and observing his signs which he was doing. But Jesus, on his part, was not entrusting himself to them, for he knew all men. And because he did not need anyone to testify concerning man, for he himself knew what was in man. John 2, 13 to 25. It is interesting that Jesus started his public life with a zeal for his father's house. Just after his first miracle at Cana, the public witnessed his passion for keeping God's house holy. He was just beginning his public ministry and he was consumed by the desecration of his father's temple. This anger at making a marketplace of his father's house exhibits the divinity of Jesus. Even though he was angry, no one was reported hurt in this manifestation of his righteous anger. His zeal for keeping holy his father's house is amazing. It ignited the religious to keep their eyes on this Jesus who claimed God is his father. It also became the motive for these insecure hypocrites to plot the death of someone who confronts sin outrightly. Only someone divine can make these people obey him when he showed anger at the desecration of his father's house. Do we show the same passion and zeal for keeping God's temple holy? Do we keep our bodies holy for the Lord? After all, it is our body that the Trinity lives in when we become believers, isn't it? Reflection. How do you manifest a zeal for keeping God's temple sanctified? Well, first of all, if you do not have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not be able to understand um, his, his, his love for His Father's um, holiness, for the character of God. And uh, this is one of the reason why one of the reasons why David was uh, one of the best uh, people in the Bible because though he was very sinful um, and he wasn't perfect in terms of uh, flawless in character, he had a zeal to seek God's own heart. So if we have a relationship with the Lord um, in a personal relationship, and it becomes, um, it becomes deepened, the longer we are closer to Him, then we develop intimacy with Him. So when we know the Lord and we develop intimacy, we know what He hates, and He hates, and he hates evil. He hates corruption. He hates impurity. And He said in one of His verses, He said, I am holy, therefore you must also be holy. So... This is one way that we could manifest uh, keeping ourselves holy by renewing our mind, by ensuring that we're always 
um, clothed with the armor of God. We're always clothed with a new creation in Christ that was given to us when we became born again. So I encourage you to keep seeking the Lord, understand Him, because when you know Him, you know His character, you know uh, it will be second nature for you to follow and search for Him and hunger for Him. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have a blessed day. Uh, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I'll be able to make more videos. God bless.